Hi, in this quick video I will talk about how you can annotate plots using the annotate function, which is very useful for indicating um, where something is located in your plots or just making it very clear what you want to show in a certain plot. Okay, so first of all we create a, a simple plot here using um, the plot function and what we plot are t and s. t is just a normal a range and uh, s will be the cosine of this t, uh, t variable. So um, yeah, the plot will just be a cosine function, um, which is pretty basic. And then we can use this x.annotate function to annotate, um, just write some random text into this plot. And the text we want to write here um, is local maximum. So we want to indicate some local maximum in our function. And uh, we want to write the text at the position 3, 1. And 3, 1 uh, are, the, are just the coordinates of, um, yeah, of the text, which should appear in our plot. And then we also set the y limit um, of our artist, and not of our artist, but of our axis, um, to make sure that we can actually see the, um, the text. And uh, otherwise, it would be yeah, out of the reach of the plot. So if we run this, uh, we can see we have our cosine here and then the text local maximum, which is located at the position 3 on x on the x-axis and 1 on the y-axis. So this comes from this x-y parameter that we used here. All right, now we can also, um, yeah, this is basically the same, but uh, now we want to have our annotation, um, so the text of our annotation somewhere else. And the annotation will actually still be at the same position at 3, 1 here, because we still say x, y equals 3, 1. But our text should not be exactly where this annotation is. So we want to move our text um, a little bit uh, up and to the right. And we can do this by uh, additionally passing this x, y text argument. And here we set the text position to 3.5 and 1.5. And you will see later on why this could be useful um, but for now, just um, you, you have to know that uh, we can have our annotation at a certain point, which is specified by x, y. But the text for this annotation doesn't have to be at this location. We can offset it by some way using our x, y text parameter. So now our uh, text moved to some, some new location. And um, yeah, the anchor point for our text is the bottom left corner. So you can see that um, the bottom left corner of our text here is at 3.5 on the x-axis and 1.5 on the y-axis, just as we specified here. All right, and now you can um, you will ha you will see why it was uh, important for us to move the text out of the way, because now we want to um, have an arrow point at our annotation and come from our text object, and this is very easy using the annotate function. Um, these three arguments are the same as uh, we had above and now we additionally pass this arrow props uh, argument and just set it to an empty dictionary and by just setting it to an empty dictionary um, matplotlib will create an arrow, an arrow and just use the default um, arrow parameters to draw it and um, if you want to change the style of this arrow then uh, you can set different values in this dictionary uh, which will be used by matplotlib to uh, create uh, to change the appearance of the arrow. But if we just run this, you see that it created an arrow from our text here, uh, which it knows from the xy text uh, argument to our annotation at 3, 1, coming from the xy argument. And um, by default, the, um, yeah, the arrow is filled with blue and has a black outline. Okay, and um, you can go to this link to see um, in detail how you can change the arrows and how you can change the appearance of these arrows and um, make it look very custom uh, just the way you need it for your plot. Um, but for now I will just show you one example of how you can uh, change the style of these arrows. And um, yeah, the parameters we will use uh, for now are, are arrow style, connection style and face color. And uh, yeah, we set these to wedge for the arrow style, so it will not be a normal um, arrow with its base and then a tip, uh, but it will just be yeah, a wedge shape. And uh, yeah, 
and the connection style is the connection between our annotation position and the text position and we set this to angle 3 and this is just um, yeah, one value we can set which is defined by matplotlib and this will create kind of a round shape for the arrow and um, the last one is face color which is pretty self-explanatory i would say it will just uh, yeah make the filling of this arrow black and not uh, be it blue uh, as is the default value so if you run this you can see we got we now got um, this wedge shaped arrow which is in in this angle um, defined by our connection style and it's now filled with black color and not blue anymore